Hello aspirants this is me Yasmin Gill presenting to you the PIB highlights of 27th of December so today unfortunately or fortunately we have a lot many updates so let's begin as you know we have a mission 1000 rating so you can quickly rate and review the course as well so beginning with society and related issues we have child labor bill quickly going through it it completely prohibits employment below 14 years and for adolescents that is for 14 to 18 years it prohibits employment in hazardous occupations only also it recognizes right to schooling but simultaneously it says that children okay they can be engaged in family enterprises but only and only non hazardous occupation and that to after school hours or during vacations next under polity and governance section we have two statements given by vice president of india so you can think upon them both of them are self explanatory uh, i will ex- try to explain a, s- a second one a bit so what it says is constitution is a social document in this context comment on the limits that judiciary has in an institution while pursuing judicial review so what vice president meant to say was that though our constitution uh, envisions a social revolution right as per uh, the makers of the constitution and as per various constitution experts now this social revolution if it is not pursued by the government of the day judiciary also has an important role in the form of judicial review right it keeps on giving various judgments and protecting rights of the people and protecting social democracy as well but it but vice president says that there's a limit to what judicial review can also achieve and you have to comment on the same thing next under international relations we have a very small snippet which you can do which says about a promotion of green infrastructure in bhutan next economy we have lot many topics i'll leave some of the topics to you which you'll be having to do by yourself so firstly we have manufacturing in india so the service sector generates more than 60% to india's gdp but contributes only 15% to employment simultaneously there's manufacturing which can provide a lot of uh, job act- lot of job rates and employment rates can be bo- uh, boosted up but it contributes right now not that much to india's gdp But if you want to actually promote manufacturing, which you are doing right now via Make in India, which is also to promote exports, it will actually meet two uh, challenges. One is to obviously promote employment because it's a very labor-intensive sector, and secondly, it will increase the it it will meet the challenge of the increasing trade deficit. So it will actually cut down the trade deficit. So this is why Make in India is important. But the uh, the problem here is that now if you want to make India's exports competitive. you have to focus on the productivity as well as the quality standards and in this context vice president mentions that if you want to develop the quality etc you have to cater to or abide by the global standards global standards quality parameters global standards of manufacturing etc only then and then can your exports be sustainable in the world market so this is how manufacturing particularly the export sector can be boosted by focusing on the global export uh, global standards also you can think upon this question next we'll do certain efforts related to ministry of labor and employment so some of them you will have to do by yourself quickly going through them employee state insurance corporation this is for social security benefits then national career uh, service project also falls under this ministry that's the only point to remember and the third one pradhan mantri rozgar protsahan yojana this also falls under the uh, under this particular ministry you can read about the provisions next we have personal ministry related, uh, related efforts so we have a pre retirement counseling program by the name of sankalp and anubhav simultaneously uh, sardar vallabhbhai patel's birthday and the subsequent week was celebrated this particular year by central vigilance commission as the vigilance awareness week next check on black spots now this topic is very elaborately covered as you know black spots are those prominent spots which are prone to accidents supreme court also intervened in it and asked the state government as well as the central ministry to cut down or curb the black spot incidents so how can it be done short term measures as given these are uh, this include for example rumble stri- uh, rumble strips which function to cut down the speed then also we have reflective stickers etc while long term include vehicular underpasses changes in construction etc also we have a highway advisory system which will be using radio to intimate you regarding the highway safety etc so its first pilot project would be implemented in del on delhi jaipur highway but the phase 2 that is the second phase would be implemented throughout the country and expanded to 12 highway stretches in multiple languages next so there are other efforts related to checking of the accidents see the first bullet point you can uh, you can do by yourself this include certain modifications in the existing vehicles for example making ch- w- at least one child seat compulsory for cars as we have in foreign countries right then cars crash standards compulsory also government came up with good samaritan guidelines which is to protect those people who actually protect other people who are uh, inflicted by 
accidents etc then we have bharat mala this is for highway development then we have setu bharatam bridge this is for promotion of bridges next we have logistics efficiency enhancement program see i'm going a bit fast because this is something which we already did once in pib this is a recap of the whole uh, year's efforts right so logistics efficiency enhancement program is to promote freight transportation then we have this very very important two models one is toll operate and transport model transfer model. So in this particular model, a private player would be given a right to collect the toll for particular number of years, which is referred to it as concession period. In this particular period, it will be collecting the toll. Also, it will be ha handling the O and M obligations, that is, operation and maintenance related obligations. Once that period is completed, the asset or the highway, etc., whichever the asset is, is transferred back to the government. So this is how private sector efficiency can be combined and revenue can be generated as well. Next, we have hybrid annuity model. So this was particularly for reviving the stalled highway projects. So because the financing was very less, so government gave a helping hand to private. How? By providing 40% of the project cost as construction cost and the remaining 60% as annual payments depending upon the uh, value of the assets which are created from time to time. So 40% given initially, 60% from time to time depending upon the assets which are created by the private players. Also, there will be minimum amount of risk sharing by private players and most of the risk will be taken by government. So private won't be having to bear the traffic and inflation risks. Next, we have vehicle fleet modernization program, which we did a few days back also on PIB. So this is for enabling the replacement of old, particularly heavy and medium commercial vehicles because they cause maximum of the pollution. Also, people will be uh, engaging in this program. So they'll be getting benefits. How? The scrap value would be given back plus Incentives from equipment manufacturer plus inf incentives from government. Also, this you can do by yourself, Bharat Stage Norms. Then we have Green Highways Policy, which you have to do by yourself. Do remember, this project has taken uh, help from Yes Bank to promote awareness. Also, we have adopted a Green Highway Program, whereby corporates would be engaged in it. Then, we, not only corporates, we have PSUs and other institutions as well. Lastly, Kisan Harit Raj Marg Yojana. Evident from name itself, Kisans, that is the farmer, se farmer sector in the nearby uh, colony or the com community would be engaged in the highway development program and they'll be given certain sort of employment, etc. Next, we have Infracon. Infracon is a... Cons it is actually, it will act as a bridge between the technical experts sitting there and the consultancy firms in the highway sector. Then we have Inam Pro. Now, what is Inam Pro? It is an, a web-based procurement program. So initially, it was started only with the cement procurement, but because cement procurement became very much successful, so then it was extended to various other materials like steel, steel slag, etc. So thereby, procurement or orders would be placed online, thus fast tracking the procedures. Next, we have BBIN, Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Nepal Highway. This will, this will be developed by ADB, that is Asian Development Bank. Also, the second two points you'll have to do by yourself. Next, under Science and Tech, we have efforts in 2016. Firstly, we have Technology Vision 2035. This was released during Indian Science Congress held at Mysore University, Mysore. Then we have Devasthal Optical Telescope. This is an Indo-Belgium venture and uh, where who actually established it. It, it it was established by Aryabhat research institute of observational sciences in nenital then we have surya jyoti this is a project by mnre this is particularly related to uh, environment sector so this is a micro solar dome to provide access to light or electricity whereby people do not have access next we have solar energy research institute for india and us now two things here you have to do by yourself in this one bullet point uh, we'll be doing one thing and the second one i'll let you know see in this particular program that is serious no not that one serious so in this particular uh, program what we'll be doing is we'll be using the property of supercritical carbon dioxide so supercritical carbon dioxide firstly you have to check wh when do we call this uh, carbon dioxide gas as supercritical now, because this particular supercritical carbon dioxide is very much efficient, its conversion efficiency is very good, so thereby it will be used in concentrated solar power program in the country. We will be doing more related to this in the MCQ section as well. Other programs and points you have to do by yourself. This is a mere revision of what we already did. Next, we have National Award for Successful Commercialization of Indigenous Technology. So this was one award presented by President to Smita Research Lab IIT Delhi for N9 Pure Silver. So this is somewhat related to the microbial properties of silver for which this award was presented. Also, we have Inspire Awards which have been upgraded to Inspire Awards Manak. You can read about it. So that's it for today. If you like the initiative, do not forget to rate and review. Thank you so much.